Hello everyone, Randy here again, and we are playing Farming Simulator 15, and it's uh, been a while since I've done one of these videos. We're going to try another uh, pulling contest here between the uh, Case Quad Track, and in this case we got two Dutes Far Tractors. Uh, essentially both the same type of tractor, just one has wheels, the other one has tracks. This is the uh, Forested Mountain Goat uh, version, and this is just the uh, wheeled version. 1860s. Not a real tractor to my knowledge, at least not those numbers anyway. Uh, based on the game, 660 horsepower, I believe it is. Just double check that a minute. That is, yes, 660 horsepower. So not quite as much as the case. case has a whopping 692 horsepower at least according to the game here I'm just going to go by the uh, game horsepower so anyway let's uh, try the wheeled version here first and the uh, tow bar probably will actually attach to this tractor but uh, just to keep things fair, I guess you could say we're going to use the weights on both tractors. The uh, tow bar there, of course, does not attach to the uh, quad track. Doesn't have the uh, right hitch type, unfortunately. That should be close enough, I think. Okay, can we attach? Yes, we can. Oh, yeah, it attached to the tractor. I'd kind of like to have it attached to the weight, I think. There we go. And we're going to put the parking brake on. And the way I've done this in the past, since obviously it's just me, we're going to use uh, course play to uh, drive this tractor. And we're going to load course one here. Just a simple straight course. All it does goes down the road there. And I should note it probably has a little bit of an advantage because it is slightly downhill that way. So let's drive the course. Let's just set it to first waypoint just to be safe there. Also, let's turn on. Always use four-wheel drive. Not that it particularly matters because once it starts slipping, uh, course play will automatically turn it on anyway. Okay, and drive the course. Well, uh, note right off the bat, and you folks should be able to see it there turning on. Yep, turned on four-wheel drive, and then it turned on all the diff locks. Well, it's not uh, not pulling the quad track, that's for sure. Worth noting, I do have the uh, parking brake on, so... Let's take the parking brake off and see what's what happens. Yeah, not not really a contest. Quad track is let's to put it nicely is walking away with it. No, no, it is running away with it. Uh, so once the tractor gets going, I can't stop it. But, uh, well, actually, I probably can if I do parking brake. Take it back off. There we go. Okay. Well, I think that's a fail for that tractor. Let's just uh, stop him. <laughs> And what I really should do, I should really have a course that goes this way for this tractor. Um, let's see, if I can do that here a minute, let's see if I can figure this out. Push you out of the way a little further. And then I can uh, pull from both sides and, you know, just to say it's not just me controlling the tractor or something. 
Let's create a quick course play course here a moment. And we'll just uh, end the course right at the building here. Stop that. Save it as... Uh, we'll save it as course 2, I guess. Okay, there we go. And I don't need this uh, course loaded on this one. I'm actually... When we get to it anyway, want course 1 on it. Okay. Let's load that on the case here a moment. To the first waypoint. Yep, don't have nothing loaded there. Let's turn on all the diff locks, four wheel drive. We're gonna put on the parking brake here. And let's drive the course. Oh, it's pulling it away with the parking brake. Yeah, I don't think I have much of a chance here, folks. Yeah, it's it's just going to walk away with me. Not even a contest hardly here at this point. Okay, stop the driver. That's good. That's good. I think we've uh, proved our point. This tractor is not going to outpull the case. Um, wonder maybe ah uh, we can maybe leave that attached. We'll find out. Okay, so let's put this in the failed group. Let's see if a tracked dudes far here can uh, do the trick. Now mind you, it does have the advantage of four tracks, like the quad track does, instead of tires. Worth noting, you can't pull the uh, quad track, so it's probably... Oh, let's turn on this on, at least. No. Uh, I'm going to put my vote right now, folks, as no. But we'll find out. Load the course. Oh, I guess I actually got it loaded already. Cool. First waypoint. Turn on the four-wheel drive. Drive the course. I don't even have the parking brake on. Yep. So yeah, not much of a contest. Again, once he gets going though, I can't actually stop him unless I do the parking brake. Okay. Let's try it the other way just to make sure. I'm pretty sure the results here are ready. Stop the driver. Put on the parking brake. Not that I don't think it's going to do any good. And course play here and drive the course if you would. Worth noting, he doesn't even have four-wheel drive on. Oh, come on. Make, at least make an attempt of it here. No, not, not, we're not even going to make an attempt, huh? Not even going to make an attempt. Oh, well. So anyway, folks, I think that uh, concludes this episode. Uh, we still have not found a tractor that can out-pull the case, the in-game ca case, uh, case quad track yet. The uh, case quad track 620 still is the reigning champion, having beaten out everything I've thrown up against it pretty much. I mean, we've had a few slight challenges, but so far nothing's really outpulled it. So, anyway, hope you folks enjoyed this video. I uh, do have a couple more tractors I want to try. So, we do have a little bit more competition here for this uh, quad track. We'll see if we can find something that'll outpull it. But, uh, so far, yep, yeah, it wins. 
Anyway, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and till next time.